Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a project share. It, this is a design team project for the Handmade Club for Shabby Art Boutique. This is for her Handmade Digital Art Club and you can join by checking out the link below then she'll know you came from my channel. If you're interested in creating with this month's kit, the time is running out so you'll want to get to it right away. This is the third video in a series process series that I created this folio. I'll leave the links to the first two videos below and then this is the final walkthrough, flip through. So you can see I finished it. I just kind of left the front pretty uh, simple, but I think the papers just kind of speak for themselves. I think it's so pretty and it's really hard to give this one up because I really like the idea of, you know, just writing down what I'm grateful for, for the month and, or even for the rest of the year. I just thought this was just such a fun way to document, you know, things and stuff. This will be available in my Etsy shop. Please see the link for that below. And let's go ahead and open this up. So I just used a few die cuts on the front, a little piece of lace from Crafty Me Shop. This beautiful green chiffon was from Crafty Me Shop as well. And the digital digitals here on the front are from Shabby Art Boutique. Let's go ahead and open this. So for the closure, I just have a an eyelet here and I wrapped these beautiful this beautiful seam binding and this the chiffon from Crafty Me Shop. The seam binding is from Scrap Cabin, I think. And so I just thought that looked so pretty and it brought out like the aqua blues and the leaves, which are throughout the journal. So you can see right here, I just have quite a few little goodies in the pocket. This little pumpkin pocket with Lots of the sweet little elements from the kit. And then I added this pretty lace. This is the background pages. And I just kept it closed by adding a little uh, cute little paper clip there. And then in here you can add something. Um, I left that empty because it was really getting full. So you can decide what you want to keep in there and what you want to move around. And then I have uh, some just something to write on here just a little journaling spots in this little tuck spot and this cute little postcard and then in this one I added a piece of the background paper just so you can journal on you can take that out and write on it add whatever you want in there and I used some coffee dye on the back of this In here, I just have two of the tags and you can see how pretty the pages are. And I added one of the clocks and one of the bows onto the clock. Super sweet. And that is just closes up like that. And then in this pocket, I have a one of the receipts. And I just kind of distressed the side and then on the back there's a uh, background page that you, know, you can journal on that and tuck that in there. And then over here I used one of the background pages that I fussy cut and I kept all this closed with this little paper clip. I was trying to figure out how I can close that but I think that's the best way so I just added some of the seam binding there. And then in this little mini CD, you have one of the sweet little circular thing that fit perfect in there. I think that was like a three inch. And then in here I have one of the postcards just tucked into this envelope area here. And then in here I have another postcard. And then on the back, I used this beautiful, um, I just love that cotton with the beautiful leaves. And you can really see how that uh, aqua blue is 
pulled right out of there. It's so gorgeous. Then over here, I have um, on the back of the little mini CD envelope, I put a couple of the die cuts there. Then I collage some here with the flowers and leaves and that beautiful clock. And in these little bags, I just have little tags that you can write on that I coffee dyed. And you can add more if you want to. It was tough because I, I love to embellish so much more, but I really didn't leave myself enough room in here. So maybe next time um, I'll have to add maybe a gusset or something. I just loved the size though of how you know wide you had to to you you know like the width of this I just loved how wide it was so then you open up in here it looks so pretty and over here I have a large CD envelope and I used several of her die cuts to decorate so this wreath part was part of this, but I had to separate it to reach the entire circle because I didn't make it big enough to fit around there. So I just cut it apart and I used several of the die cuts leaves and this autumn and it comes right out of there. So isn't that pretty? And then in there you have one of her uh, clocks. And then on the back, I just have a little tuck spot with one of the hedgies. And then in this pocket, I just have part of the receipt and I coffee dye the back. Slips right in there. You can add other things if you want to. And then this closes like that. So on the front of this, I have a little, the little pumpkin patch and a little die cut in there in this little tuck spot and then this opens out and you have one of the die cuts here I tucked a few in here in this belly band oh, he's cute and then this will close shut with the little it's very light but you can then tuck some stuff inside there and then on here you have a, a little Velcro as well, just enough to keep that closed. And then some tickets in this pocket and some goodies in here. And I made that little collage. I added some lace trim there. And I also added some lace here. And then this whole thing closes with this little clip. Okay, and then it opens like this and you have a little tuck spot this belly band here with this beautiful lace from Esme and look at all of the gorgeous papers I made this one look very vintage it's a, le a letter and we coffee dyed the back you can write on the back of that I just love how everything just oh, looks so pretty together and then in here, I put an, a letter on this beautiful paper. And then I, cut, I did uh, print on both sides. And then this beautiful flower just goes right in there and you can see it through the window. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. And then in the middle here, I have another pocket and I just put a piece of the background paper there with the um, coffee dyed on the back so you can write on that and it goes right in here Just to close that back up, you just I just put it like in the pocket and then clip the envelope. So there you go, guys. Isn't that so fun? You do have to 
push this down to close it because it's full. And on the back, I just add, I just have a piece of the paper and coffee dye the back to journal on in that pocket back there. And that's it guys. That is the Sweet Autumn Days Folio. I had so much fun playing with this. And I hope that you enjoyed the flip through. So thanks for stopping by guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.